Hello everyone, I'm Lord Midas and welcome back to the Heart Piercers, where we have recently done a very very successful patrol for our noble friends of the uh, House Folzar here. We have 20 out of 20 heads and we are ready to head back to Whole Island and report to them of the success of our patrol. Let's go ahead and do that and then we will see from Whole Island for our next destination. We are just uh, stopping by here at Sea Dock uh, to check if we can buy some cheap tools from over here. They have disappearing villagers, so the tools are a little bit more expensive than I would have liked them to be. But I think we can definitely buy at least a couple of stacks from over here. And we have arrived at Hole Island. We gain about 1500 crowns, which I would say is a nice price. Enough margin for today, especially because we've arrived here just at dawn time. And there's already another three skull contract here to check out. But quickly, let's have a look at the marketplace. I think we have a few things to sell here, like this short sword. Yeah, this is Morningstar, I think we're probably not going to use anytime soon. So let's uh, get rid of that as well. Also, let's get rid of this hunting bow. One of these quivers of bolts. And all of these, uh, you know, ingredients that we're carrying around because there's no taxidermist in these parts. It's a nice amount of cash that we just made. And now let's have a look at this uh, three skull contract. Audacious act of thievery. They're not paying all that much, I must say. 240 in advance, 950 when the job is done. But it's a three skull contract and I think we're gonna accept it for sure because hunting thieves is our speciality here. And I am kind of interested in hiring more of these better backgrounds as well at this point because we're running so many martyrs in the company I think it's just not um, going to work but by the time we reach the crisis if we don't have highly let's say skilled people let's go ahead and check out this raider here Gerald Ravens Black he does not have any traits so I'm not really sure if this uh, 2000 crowns that we spent on him is, are going to be worth it but we could hire him his Already gonna be two levels. Let's check him out. And this retired soldier is pretty expensive though. Probably because of his equipment. So maybe he... This is something that we should not gamble with. Alright, the raider here. He is unfortunately not talented in anything useful. But even with that 60 on the melee skill. And... 6 on the melee defense, we could turn him, I think, maybe into a usable two-handed swordsman. Maybe. I mean, most of his talents are just bad. But just to make, uh, let's say, use of all the money that we spent on him, plus his melee skill starting is 60, so the starting skill is not bad. Let's just give him a basic mail shirt, the kettle hat, and get rid of that... Um, Axe on him, would like to give him an arming sword and kite shield. Really low on the fatigue right now, but he will make up for that. Alright, we do not have a dagger to give him just yet. Maybe take one off uh, one of these martyrs here. Already let's give him his first level up. Alright, that's bad. That is very, very bad. Plus one on the melee skill. Yeah, let's just give him more resolve then this time choose I'm torn between choosing student or colossus on him I think for the first level we can get away with choosing colossus because it's important to survive and for the next one we can choose student all right we could put him in place of Eberich the stallion here maybe even give him um, the heater shield instead of the kite shield to get his melee defense to a very very respectable level okay so, Geralt Raven's Black here. We will see if he will turn into a fine swordsman or not. But for now, we have to chase these thieves. East of Hole Island. Oh, something has been destroyed here. Yeah, Hole Island was, was being raided, but they only gave us that one, you know, contract to defend them. And now they've paid for that by losing one of their buildings, or even two of their buildings for that matter. They should have given us multiple contracts. A few marksmen, many raiders. Um, doesn't look all that bad, does it? Let's just put on the kite shields and charge into them. 
let's maybe repair that for the future. And I think Geralt's Raven Black is also going to go ahead with a kite shield for this battle. Alright, he's going to go into the place of uh, Astral the Bastral. To arms, my friends. Especially the new raider guy. You know, we are really a band of uh, bad people. Oh my god, and he... Uh, takes a crossbow bolt straight away. Half of his HP is gone. I'm not gonna push him forward anymore at all now. Two long swordsmen here. Oh my god, three marksmen and all three of them with regular crossbows. This is not good at all. Yeah, so I was saying that we're really a band of uh, bad people here. We've look, got a lot of thieves, <laughs> and now we even have a raider. So, really, truly bandits, that's what we are here. Alright, aim shot at this marksman. Beautiful connect. PS side already. And this is weird, they've sent this guy forward with the military pick, while all of them just stand there to protect the marksman. But at the same time, this is also very dangerous because... The more time we spend moving forward, the more these the crossbowmen are going to fire at us. Impale him with the banner. I think I am going to put... Um, turtle here, maybe attract a couple of these crossbow bolts in that direction. Alright, Sergeant Egon will take a few steps here, I think. Maybe here. Impale him. So we will get rid of one of these at least, like that, and take a step forward in front of Xavier. Not so sure what we can accomplish with Geralt here anymore. Just a shield wall, I suppose. For now, we will think about him later. Come here with Buck. And Goswin. I think also take a few steps forward so that uh, some of these... At least this crossbowman might favor trying to attack him. This is really bad. I think we definitely need to hire a few more hunters, perhaps. But then, if we hire a few more hunters and the next, let's say, um, crisis that we get is going to be undead, then all of those hunting, or let's say hunter hirings that we would have done would have been a waste. So... I think we're pretty close to the crisis now. We have... Maybe 30 more days to go. Just a month away. So it might make sense to hold up on the... Hiring for the Hunters. Alright, that's pretty much it for this turn. We will then see if we can reach them in the next one. Oh, thank god, that missed. That also, that's very nice. Curse of the Pitchfork. Now extending to crossbows as well. Alright, come here with Midas. Quick shot here. Beautiful. Took out that one, so he won't get to shoot his crossbow bolt in this turn. Wow, what a headshot. Midas is on fire, indeed. Now they will learn to uh, hole up like that. I think he's going to take a couple of axes now to the face, but it should be fine. Yeah, I'm okay with that, as long as they're not uh, throwing axes on the more important people. Come here for the future. And Rudolf. Yeah, I don't want to take this guy's long axe if I can avoid it. Uh, long sword, not axe. So maybe come here for now with Rudolf. And here we can already go ahead like that. Even come here with Buck and uh, miss. Alright, Goswin should go here. And I think I will put Egg over here so that this crossbowman is also neutralized. Come here with Astral. And also would like to pin this guy down. So let's put uh, Albrecht over here. I'm still interested in putting Geralt behind someone. 
So maybe here for now with a shield wall. And come here with a diehard. Oops, maybe should have impaled. All right, but it did, did put him on weight, so we will get the impale. It's okay. Come here with the banner. Probably we've put too much uh, force down here and too little on the top. Beautiful impale. All right, nice rotation. So the crossbowman is not really neutralized. But that long sword guy <laughs> is going to feel the wrath of uh, Egg here now. Alright, aim shot at the marksman, I would say. Connected with the raider, beautiful. Okay. And here the long swordsman is going to take a banner to the face like that. Xavier's an expert in that. Alright, come here for the future, maybe take a couple of crossbow bolts for the team as well. Egon. Impale that one. Beautiful. Alright, Buck. Maybe we can proc the Berserk with him. Like that, but miss the other one. Rudolph will chop that guy's head off. And here. The Long Swordsman. Yeah, I think we are going to slash at him a couple of times. Now, let's neutralize <laughs> this crossbowman. Maybe it could have even neutralized both of them if I moved Albrecht like that. Yeah, that was a bit of a mistake. But this way, at least we neutralize one of them. It's okay. Beautiful headshot there. And come here with Gosbin. Nice. <laughs> Geralt will mostly just stand spam shield walls here. And just He's just getting some XP in this battle. Nothing else. Finish that guy off. Do I want to take a chance by moving Albrecht one step forward? Yes, I will. Neutralize the crossbowman for good. Maybe they can still rotate him, but even then the crossbowman won't be able to fire. Oh, but he will take a puncture and get a pierced side. Not a good show, I must say. That was a banner to the face again, you see. His helmet has been dented a little bit. Xavier, with his special banners to the face. Alright, maybe make, make this guy flee. Nope. Now he's fleeing. You've got to be kidding me. Okay. We have to rotate Albrecht out now. Pretty bad show there. I mean, I understand that he's on the high ground, but uh, you're supposed to be a tank. But his defenses are pretty bad, so maybe that explains it. Alright, get rid of him. Um, Come here with Buck. I'm trying to get rid of this guy. Yeah, I made him flee already. Beautiful. Now chop his head off with Egg. Make both of them flee, come here. Slash at him, which will miss. Shield wall here, which we absolutely do need now. Alright, no longer needed now. Let's come here with Die Hard. Geralt will also taste some battle, like that. Alright, banner that one. Again, banner to the face! Xavier's style. Pike as well. Alright, Midas is gonna take a break now, I suppose. Maybe finish this guy off, like that. Shoot an arrow here and hit Egg. But we can forgive him for that. He did his job pretty good. Alright, Buck will go here. Impale the archer. Beautiful. Like that. Gerald will also continue to push forward. Albrecht is pretty badly injured. Alright, no level up. 
but very nice loot. A couple of long swords, crossbow, falchion, military pick. Very happy with the loot here. Let's head back to the city and collect our pay. Also put all of this stuff on repairing. Very nice. Crowns well deserved indeed, I must say. Another contract from House Volzach, but first I'm interested in getting our people, you know, healed up a little bit. Gerald Raven's Black and Albrecht, leg muscles and pierced side. Both of those need to, to be healed up here. What's the contract about? It is beasts are ravaging the countryside. Wirewolves, dire, not wirewolves, direwolves, web connects and knock zeros. Plains of Feyerdale and other regions. Yeah, no, no thanks. Alright, I think we can definitely get rid of a few people who are in the company. Like this Oscar Sacrifice, I think we are definitely not going to use him at any point. He's just sitting there, eating, you know, salary. He is a cultist. And he, he did start off as a cultist as well. The other cultist that we have is Albrecht, I believe. The tank here. He is the one who brought Oscar back to life. But I think Oscar here is pretty useless. Let's just get rid of him. I'm not even going to pay him any compensation because he was serving Dove Cool, yeah? People are going to feel bad about that, of course, because they don't understand that he was a servant of Dove Cool, not their brother that we just uh, banished. Three levels. Possibly that's why his uh, starting price is also pretty high. Maybe I'm just going to try him out. Loyal and Spartan. Not amazing trait, so I'm not going to gamble by hiring him. Alright, I think we should definitely head in the direction of Strauchdorf, Kargau, and from there to Hohentum buy some more armor. Yeah, I would also like to hire, let's say, more better backgrounds. Like, for example, cell swords, etc. We can definitely get rid of uh, two of these long swords, I believe. Also make some money like that. One of these picks. Also, I'm, I think, I'm pretty sure we're not going to use this cleaver at any point. We don't have enough fatigue to reliably use cleavers, so let's get rid of that as well. Couple of these shields. Okay. Also the patched mail shirt. Yeah, the point is... Oh, there's a contract. What? Shipment? Going to cargo? Talk money? Escort caravan? Accept that contract for sure. We, we were we were headed in that direction anyway. During camp. And what is this? Something of a commotion draws you from your tent. Men are sitting on a few stumps or on the ground, eagerly watching something in the distance. With squinting eyes, you spot Rudolf and Alfgeir doing something odd. You know, all right. Alfgeir is again involved in something odd in the company. An apple rests on one man's head while the other is walking away, a bow in hand. I'm pretty sure that's Rudolf, uh, sorry, Alfgeir there, who's walking away like that. You ask Midas what is going on, and he explains that the two men are going to try some sort of stunt or trick that involves shooting a piece of fruit off a man's head. Shocked, you explain, you exclaim, that's not safe at all, to which the brother grins and explains that is the point. Nope, I do not trust Alfgeir with that bow. He shot egg in the back of the head already. I'm pretty sure he will shoot Rudolf here in the head as well, so stop at once. No, I'm not gonna allow that. You shake your head no as you walk out onto the field and step between the two men. If you all wanted to play tricks, then you, sh you should have joined a circus for sure. Now get back to work before someone gets seriously hurt. A wave of disappointment washes over the men. A few even boo and give you a thumbs down or other rowdier gestures. All right, we don't care about that, it's for their own good. They need to start behaving like grown-up people, you know? Alright, let's uh, take the caravan. Oh my god, some brigands. But they did not attack us for some reason. Okay. And along the way, we have the possibility to choose another ambition. And this time we have the ambition to expand the inventory space even further by saving up for 15,000 crowns. I'm very, very tempted to do that. 
but I still think that we need at least a couple of more heavier armors in the company before we choose that. Defeat a formidable foe of two dozen opponents. We need to spread word about the company. Let's pay a visit to every settlement far and wide. You know what? Maybe this is some ambition that we can actually do. Pay a visit to the northern side of the map as well for once. Let's just pick it for now. And the reason I'm picking that is because I think also in this part of the map, we have not really seen more of the newer beasts. Like, um, you know, more Hexen. I mean, of course, there was Hexen contracts, but we did not take them. But Unholds we haven't seen really here. Yeah, pretty much that's it, right? We've seen web connects sometimes, but I think we will see more of that up north. But you know what? I'm not complaining. I hate web connects. They take a lot of time to kill and just annoying. Plus, the other reason, which I was mentioning earlier as well, but then I forgot, is the reason I want to go north as well is to visit some kinds of, let's say, citadels or big castles where we can possibly get um, a, a shot at hiring some more advanced backgrounds. Okay, what is this? Delivery contract. Sand home. Maybe this is something that we're also interested in. Think about it. Do we have any uh, thieves here? No, we've got a brawler who could be good. He's strong with plus 10 fatigue. Let's hire him. And he is useless. So let's get rid of him <laughs> immediately. Let's also sell off his rags because we're not going to use that anytime so, where is it? Like that. Okay. Then let's head straight forward to uh, Hohenturm. Let's buy some armor from over there. Alright, we have arrived at Hohenturm, but it's night time, so let's just camp here till morning. And now let's check out the armor straight away. Famed helmet, imperishable feathered helm. It's actually pretty good. 264 durability with negative 16 fatigue. Alright, but I was more interested in buying, let's say, heavier armors. Unfortunately, none of them are available here. And that's very sad. Not interested in heavier helmets for now. As for the hiring, just a militia that we can try out for pretty cheap. He has fear of the beasts. So, no, not going to happen. All right, that was an unfortunate situation that we travel all the way to Hantrum to find basically nothing. So we could take the contract from Cargao to Sandholm, or we could go directly to Grunhain. I think let's go in the direction of Grunhain. From there, let's travel north and uh, visit all of these cities now. We will check out the contract there as well. Let's pay a visit back to Cargao, maybe buy some dyes. Or do they have the die maker destroyed? No, it's still there, so we will check it out. Oh, not eight brigands. Some marksmen, some raiders. Definitely what we are specialized in. Let's attack them straight away. Wait a minute. I'm just going to make sure that we have some better armor that we can put on Gerald Raven's black here. He will get pretty low on the fatigue, but I think he will have to make do with that. 34, like, range defense. He should not be getting hit by the uh, crossbows or whatever. Again, two crossbows, but this time, they, at least they're light crossbows. And two short bow marksmen. These raiders are really badly equipped here. Alright, let's just uh, keep moving forward for now. They're taking up pretty nice positions here. Alright, send turtle like that. Rudolph will come up. Now, he might take a couple of crossbow bolts. So we have to put somebody in front of him. Alright, maybe put him here. But yeah, this uh, climbing up on the mountain is going to be pretty, uh, you know, fatigue and action point intensive. Yeah, but we have to go like that. I mean, going like that is not going to be useful at all. Alright, come here with Egg. Here with Die Hard. Can take a step forward with uh, Albrecht. Thank you for missing. Beautiful. Alright, they're 
insistent on trying to destroy our shields. Well then, come here with the banner and uh, maybe to the face? Not this time. Alright, come here with Midas and from here we're going to try to shoot at their marksman. Almost get, get catching him there. Alright, come here with the turtle. Look at them. Look at them. Let's just turtle away like that. They move back, put people in front and just try to shoot bolts. Alright. Impale will miss. Alright, come here. I think Egg will definitely take a step forward. Slash at him. To the head this time. Alright, come here with Goswin. Die Hard can try and impale, which will connect to the face this time. Gerald getting his uh, first, let's say, kill since we hired him. Already <laughs> more than halfway through his fatigue. Okay. This guy's face is like one of those sword masters that you get sometimes with a single sword in the late game. <laughs> they are forced to be reckoned with. But he's no sword master, he's just a typical raider. I mean, the fact that he has just a single arming sword in the hand without any um, shield also is kind of sword master ish behavior. He's gonna take a banner. And then we will do an aim shot at one of these marksmen. That one. Excellent. Grazed his eye socket. Rudolph will say hello to the other crossbowmen here. And the buck will simply finish this guy off, I think. Or at least give him a lot of damage, which will not uh, connect. Okay, then come here. All right, interesting misses here. Even though he's surrounded quite a bit. All right, rotate here with Egg. Show him some arming swords of our own. Uh, would have been interesting to push him back, but that puts him right in front of Buck the Wolf here. So, yeah, slashing will not really help. Yeah, if we push him back, we can't even move forward because we'll be completely fatigued off. Alright, then just do a shield wall here. Wait for backup. Pretty close to death now. Near death. I must say that's a accurate assessment of his situation. Okay. Might take a couple of flails to the head now, but uh, mostly it should be fine. He died to bleeding. I'm not sure if we get the XP from people when they die to bleeding. Quick shot here, which we'll miss. Okay. Finish that guy off with Rudolph. Impale will connect. Get out of the way. Maybe we can push him back this time. I think these people are probably going to get away. Or maybe get on the high ground first. Beautiful hit. If some of these have dogs, we will release them. But I believe we don't have any dogs on the bottom here. Yeah. Alright, Impale. Should have gone through. I'm gonna try a slash. Both of which connected. Wow. <laughs> Alright, interesting. Uh, interesting movement there. He just stood and bled. That's what he did. Yeah, these people are going to get away for sure. He's still just standing and bleeding. Wow. Alright. Pretty much end everybody's turn then. I think we're not going to catch up to these... Uh... Four, one, two, three, four. Here we could actually catch up to him. Okay, we're going to catch up to that one. Please don't die to bleeding now. Though he does look like it. 
maybe Buck will take care of him. All right. Secure him. Yes, he did. Beautiful. Okay, but the other one will definitely escape, I believe. Okay, then we will just kill that one. Okay. What? He's coming back forward? Very strange behavior. Quick shot and finish him off then. Come here. That was a very strange behavior by him. Alright. Pretty much end everybody's turn over there. Couple of thrusts which will both miss. Can't reach him so let's just uh, surround this guy. And miss, okay. But he will die in the next round. He escaped. That's fine. And here, Sergeant Egon will finish him off. Nice XP, Geralt has finally leveled up. Arming sword. Decent loot, I would say. And let's give Geralt his next level. Please roll good on the melee skill like that. And maximum fatigue. Now, the point is... I mean... He would have rolled, uh, gone up to like 20 on the melee skill, so up to 80. And now I think he will be in the 70s. So he will really be just a mediocre guy. And we're paying him 31 daily. Compare that to Albrecht who's paid 10 daily. Yeah. And they're more or less comparable in terms of stats here. I mean, he's just one level ahead, and that's pretty much it, right? So, very bad. Just gonna give him student for now. Yeah. We will see. I think he, most likely he's just gonna be a tank at the end. Or maybe we'll just retire him at some point. Let's move onwards to Kargao, but I think we will get there then in the next episode because we're already over the limit here, so we will check the situation in Cargo out, and from there I believe the plan should be that we move like that and then pay a visit to these northern areas, fulfill our ambition, also check out some contracts over there. So thank you very much for joining me for this episode. If you liked it, please click thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for future content, and let me know in the comments about your feelings and feedback about this playthrough. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.